There are a lot of glaring needs on the Bears' defense, the biggest of which is definitely the defensive line. But over the past couple weeks, I've heard some people say that our secondary is a bright spot on the defense, and I personally disagree with that, and here's why. I think that narrative exists just because we have players who are locked in the contracts for the next year in the secondary, and so there's no obvious glaring holes there. Jalen Johnson is here for another year. So is Vildor. Uh, we just drafted Gordon. He has three more years before we need to make any kind of choice on him, and same thing with Britt. Eddie Jackson is also under contract, but when you look at the numbers, they're not all that great. Um, Jalen Johnson's only had one interception in three years. A lot of people consider him a number one corner, but I would definitely feel much better if he was our number two. Vildor also only has one pick in three years. Uh, for your starting two cornerbacks, that's just not going to cut it. Um, Eddie Jackson's here for two more years. His cap hit is $17 million this year, $18 million next year. So he's a very expensive guy who just got hurt. He did have a couple of nice interceptions this year, though, early on, and he played all right, but um, there is a situation possible where the Bears may feel that he's not going to be worth the money in 2024. So, really, in my opinion, the two rookies are the bright spots here. Um, Gordon has had a really tough start to his NFL career. I've had a lot of people debate this with me, but I will stand by my video from week four. He was a liability for the Chicago Bears early on. He was a big part of our week two loss and our week four loss. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get mad at me. This doesn't mean I want to give up on the kid. Quarterbacks sometimes take a couple of years to really learn a position and pan out and play well. We saw that with Kyle Fuller when he really finally started to produce in his fourth year. So, I'm very happy that Gordon started to play much better as the season went on and wound up getting a couple interceptions against some good teams, the Cowboys, the Eagles, the Bills. Um, he's definitely a good prospect for the Bears moving forward, and Brisker, in my opinion, has played very well for a rookie. I'm very excited to have this safety on our team moving forward. But here's the problem, guys. Johnson's here for one year and Vilder for one year, so those are your top two corners. So what do you do next year? you start Gordon in a rookie? Do you draft another cornerback this year? Personally, I think this is where I would look at free agency and try and make a move. Marcus Peters is a free agent. He's a tad older, but he would create a great veteran presence for the position on this team, and he would instantly be the number one corner if we signed him. Bradbury from the Eagles is also set to hit free agency. That would be someone I would look at, as well as even considering the option to bring back a guy like Kyle Fuller to the Bears. Regardless, I do think free agency is the best spot to address the cornerback position this year.